the Bike Men Performance. Today we're going to be doing a charge tube and blow-off valve on this Polaris 850 Boost. Let's get started. All right, first thing on the exhaust install, we've removed the springs for the, uh, the pipe blow-off valve. We've removed the clamp already. We've got this clamp loose to the turbo. Went ahead and taken this loose. We're gonna go ahead now and pull this muffler out. Oh, and there's the pipe sensor back here, or the muffler sensor. 17 millimeter wrench. Oh, you get that out the back of the muffler there. All right, we'll go ahead and get all this out of the way. I think we're gonna pop this off to make it easier. All right, that's loose. Wiggle that on up out of there, set it aside. Now you're just gonna kinda lift this as a unit. The turbo will come up. We did take the four springs off the uh, back of the main pipe going to the turbo as well. So now you gotta get it up off the dowel in the chassis. All right, get this big heavy old thing out of here. Let that turbo just kinda hang there. We'll set this aside. All right, here's the doll you're trying to get the uh, muffler up over. Pretty tall one, so you gotta lift it up quite a bit. I already went ahead and loosened up the charge tube clamps. We're gonna be doing a charge tube install on this as well. Again, let your turbo just kinda hang here. It'll kinda go where it wants. Now we'll go ahead and get our other parts. All right, for the setup on the blow-off valve, Get it positioned in here like so. It's a good idea to go ahead and lube up this. Kind of a tight fit going on here. It's on a rotary or a swivel. All right, get that on. Get your zip tie on. Get it right up by the edge of the nipple there. The raise on the nipple and go ahead and snip it off. All right, we, ready? All right, we've got the stock one removed. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in. Kind of tuck this hose. Get it started down past the throttle body down there. Fish it in. You kind of see where your clamp's going to want to be. And this thing almost sits in a vertical position. Get it pushed in there. Not quite on all the way. There we go. Next up, we're going to be removing the clutches. Primary clutch, I believe, is a T60. And the secondary is a 15 mil. Take note of your stack of washers and spacer. You know, try not to lose any of them little guys. Set that aside. All right, on the Polaris's, these have a two-piece clutch. Work this back and forth and pull it right off. Some might be harder than others. Set that aside. All right, at this time, take your clutch spreader, spin it into the secondary. You don't have to go too far. Just get a little bit of the load off this bearing here and then slide your belt and secondary off. Same thing on here, there are washers. Sometimes they like to stick to the back of the clutch. Make sure they all stay on the shaft. So we removed the secondary to make it easier to get to this. And then I also removed, I also removed this hose routing piece in here. It's a good idea to take a picture of this so you get these back in the same position. Uh, when you're done, I got this set up so we can put it back on.
Now on the billet intake, I know we don't have good lighting down here, there's a little rubber nipple you need to remove. And I got part of it. <laughs> Getting a piece at a time. All right, it is off. Maybe we should just leave it installed. <laughs> oh yeah, because you gotta get the thing back on. Yeah, and I wrecked it. All right, now that we got the hose plumbed down through, you want to make sure it's not going to interfere with the throttle linkage. So make sure you go around that. You know, don't get into a pinch area. Grab yourself a big long pliers like this. You need some good lighting. I gotta grab it a little shorter. Need five more hands. Yeah. We're just going to lean this up against here, hold it with my feet, I'm part monkey. All right, you get that pushed up on. Did you put a zip tie on that? Yeah, we're going to get a zip tie on there. Oh. I would never have got it pulled over. <clears throat> All right, now that you got that on, go ahead and put a zip tie on that. And that's how you install the relief valve or the relief hose for the blow off valve. And of course, we've got that little hose hooked up. We're going to come over here and tighten up the clamps. You'll get your clamp seated properly. Make sure this thing's pushed down. You can feel that it's seated nice and go ahead and just snug it up. You don't have to kill it right now. All right, we got that snug. And next we're going to get the muffler up here, get that in place, and then we'll force this all together as a unit. Where's that shiny muffler? Make the job a little easier, we're going to go ahead and pull these darts out. Alright, being we're also going to be doing the intake hose, we're going to go ahead and remove this and bring it over to the bench. Get the clip undone, undo your data plug, we're going to be removing this, we'll be removing this clamp. Right, you catch a screwdriver under there and it'll pop off. Go ahead and spread it. Take off that one. <laughs> All right, after you get your clamp loose, there's a stuffer you need to take out of here. That's gonna go back in here to keep this from collapsing. We'll go ahead, <clears throat> get this started. The snug fit. Come on, work with me. All right, now we'll go to the machine and check it for fitment. Oh, stay on there, you little bugger. All right, go ahead and kind of get this started back here. Make sure this is seated all the way below. Come on. Cheat a little bit. Rotate that up. Want to be sure that is all the way in place.
And we're going to go ahead and put the darts in to make sure it stays in place. Try to hold this still. Rotate this back around. Drop it on your turbo. Go ahead and then tighten up the clamps. Get them both a little bit snug. Check your clearances on everything. Wiggle it around a little bit and go ahead and tighten it down. All right, next we'll be installing, make sure this is on the right way, yep, it is. Slide that over the muffler end, work it down into place. You're going to bring your clamp loose enough so you can slide it up over the flange on the wastegate tube. A little looser. Well, we're gonna have to go even looser. Not driver. I'll go the other way. Oh, these things suck. Problem we're having right now is none of this other stuff is tight. But they don't know that in the video. And I don't have that freaking rubber pad under the muffler. So it's wanting to drop too low. that funny carnival music they play in Benny Hill. All right, after you get your V-band lined up, snug it up, go ahead and snug up this one. Make sure you're all the way on your donut up there. 
Then go ahead and reinstall your spring clamps. Then go ahead and reinstall your exhaust springs. All right. That's it. All right. So yeah. say that again, and then I'll go to you, and then just do a wrap up, oh. and that's the and this. And also, after you get everything lined up, get your exhaust sensor back into position, and go ahead and tighten that up. Again, just get her snug. You don't have to kill it. Again, that's a 17 millimeter. Then be sure to keep the uh, center lead away from the recoil rope here. So you want to zip tie that off, just so it doesn't get rubbed through by the rope. And go ahead and also put on the muffler spring. It goes from the frame up to the muffler body here. All right, and that's how you install the charge tube, blow-off valve, and intake tube on the Patriot Boost.